It's been almost a year since the James Webb Space Telescope sent back its first image after becoming fully operational on July the 11th, 2022. Since then, it's been sending back some stunning images, such as this near-cam image of the Carina Nebula, which shows countless stars being formed which were previously invisible to other telescopes. And this image of the Pillars of Creation, taken by the James Webb Space Telescope's mid-infrared instrument, is downright eerie looking. Aside from all the jaw-dropping images we're getting, the James Webb Space Telescope's main objective is to help scientists find out more about the origin of the universe by looking at the first galaxies that formed in the early universe. What has the James Webb Space Telescope found recently with its powerful infrared gaze? And are we closer to understanding the universe and our origins? Get ready to find out and see the incredible images that it's taken, including objects in our own solar system like you've never seen them before. The James Webb Space Telescope's main objective is to look back in time and try to discover the earliest galaxies that formed after the Big Bang. The first image from the telescope is the farthest that humanity has seen in both time and distance, closer to the dawn of time and the edge of the observable universe. The sharp near-infrared image brought out faint structures in extremely distant galaxies giving us the most detailed view of the early universe that we've ever seen. Webb's speciality is imaging in infrared light. As light travels farther and farther, it stretches into an infrared portion of the visible spectrum, the portion that humans can't see with the naked eye. This light is called redshift, and astronomers measure how much the light has stretched, and that indicates the age of the object the light is coming from. Higher redshift means the light has travelled a greater distance, and a lower redshift means the object is closer to us. The JWST Observatory can essentially see back in time up to 13.5 billion years ago. Astronomers have determined that the universe is around 13.7 billion years old. That said, the Space Telescope might not be able to capture everything from the moment after the Big Bang, but pretty close. Shortly after the telescope became operational and started sending back images, astronomers spotted something completely unexpected. Six massive galaxies that existed sometime between 500 and 700 million years after the Big Bang. The surprising thing is that the objects are far more massive than anyone expected. Researchers expected to find small, young galaxies at this point in time after the Big Bang. But the real surprise is that the galaxies astronomers found are as developed and mature as our own Milky Way galaxy. These galaxies are so massive that they're incompatible with 99% of the models representing early galaxies in the universe. The big question is, how did these galaxies grow so big and so quickly after the Big Bang? No one is sure, and researchers are still trying to figure this out. This finding actually creates problems for science and calls the whole picture of early galaxy formation into question. But the James Webb Space Telescope has found a lot more than just ancient galaxies, something that is eerily ominous. The powerful cameras aboard the $10 billion Space Observatory spotted something that no one could have imagined. The earliest known black hole in the entire universe. A supermassive black hole that's 10 million times heavier than our solar system's sun, and is sitting at the center of an infant galaxy that formed just 570 million years after the universe began. This cosmic monster could be just one of many black holes that grew to enormous sizes during the cosmic dawn about 100 million years after the Big Bang, when the universe glowed for a billion years. It's the first one that's been discovered in the redshift spectrum that the Webb Telescope can see, but researchers say there should be many of these giant black holes lurking out there. Because light travels at a fixed speed through the vacuum of space, the deeper astronomers look into the universe, the more distant light they intercept. 
and thus the farther back in time they see. So what is the oldest galaxy that humanity has seen so far? And what really lies on the edge of the observable universe? One of the galaxies that Webb imaged from the early universe formed just 235 million years after the Big Bang, making it the oldest galaxy we've ever laid eyes on. Researchers named the galaxy Kears 93316. You might be looking at that image and saying it doesn't look so incredible. But keep in mind that it's an astounding 35 billion light years away. It's just one of six ancient galaxies being studied now. The Webb Telescope has been imaging closer galaxies as well. This is one of the first images released by NASA from Webb of Stefan's Quintet. In the image, five galaxies can be seen. Four of those galaxies are pulling and stretching each other apart in a cosmic gravitational dance. If you look at the same image from the Hubble Telescope, you'll notice there are far less stars and galaxies visible compared to the JWST image. The James Webb Space Telescope also captured warped galaxies in deep space. The observatory was pointed at a cluster of galaxies that lie around 6.3 billion light years away. This cluster holds so much star and planetary weight that it literally warps space and the warped area distorts and magnifies massive objects in the distance. Astronomers call this gravitational lensing, and the JWST snapped a superb example of this effect. Just recently, the Webb Space Telescope captured something else incredible. This image shows a huge star-like object with a bright white core and six orange spikes. What we're actually seeing here is two galaxies called ARP 2020 that are 250 million light years away that are colliding and merging. The light you see in the image shines as bright as one trillion suns. Even our own Milky Way galaxy with all its stars only shines as bright as 10 billion times the sun. This gigantic collision actually began some 700 million years ago, causing a massive explosion of new stars. Incidentally, the same thing will happen to the Milky Way and the Andromeda Galaxy, which is right now speeding towards us at 110 kilometers per second, or about 250,000 miles per hour. But don't worry, it won't reach us for another 4 billion years. And since we're on the subject of our own neighborhood, the JWST has taken some incredible images of objects in our own solar system. In August 2022, the JWST set its infrared gaze on the planet Jupiter, and what it sent back was a ghostly image of the gas giant in infrared. The Hubble telescope has taken some beautiful images of Jupiter, but the Webb telescope shows details that Hubble just can't see. And you can even see a faint ring around the planet, with the north and south auroras glowing brightly. To show off its incredible imaging power, the Space Telescope turned its gaze to the outer solar system with its near-infrared camera and captured the ice giant planet Neptune like never seen before. What surprised everyone was the rings of dust around the planet. But that's not all. Following the Neptune image released in 2022, the James Webb Space Telescope took what might be the clearest image of Uranus ever taken. In the zoomed-in image, you can see 11 of the 13 known rings around the planet, and you can also see the planet's northern pole. For those not familiar with Uranus, the ice giant sits 2.9 billion kilometers from the Sun, and is unique in that it rotates on its side at a 90-degree angle from the plane of its orbit. The web image demonstrates its incredible sensitivity and its ability to image even the faintest rings around planets. The original image is just as stunning, and you can see several stars in the background behind the planet. But it's not just incredibly beautiful images that the James Webb Space Telescope can deliver. That enormous mirror and the precise instruments were also developed to search for atmospheres on distant planets. It's been said that if we discover another planet with life or some type of civilization, the easiest way would be to look at the atmosphere of a planet. The first target to test the instruments was a planet that we've talked about a lot on the channel before, the hot, puffy gas giant named WASP-96b, which is one of 5,000 confirmed exoplanets located in the Milky Way galaxy. 
Sitting roughly 1,150 light years away in the constellation Phoenix, it has a mass less than half of Jupiter and a diameter 1.2 times greater. It orbits extremely close to its star, just one-ninth the distance between Mercury and the Sun, and has a surface temperature of 537 degrees Celsius. This image might not be as incredible as the cosmic ones, but it's very interesting because it shows what the atmosphere of WASP-B consists of. The way the observatory does this is by measuring the light curve going through the atmosphere of the planet from its host star. The transmission spectrum showed the unambiguous signature of water, indications of haze and evidence of clouds that were thought not to exist on the hot planet based on prior observations. The Webb telescope found no signs of biology, but water is a key ingredient for life, so anything is possible. Even more recently, the James Webb telescope found a planet that is 99% the size of the Earth that orbits a small red star. Labelled LHS 475b, it sits roughly 40 light years away from us. Now that the JWST is finding more planets combined with the ability to check the atmosphere of those planets, some researchers think we're closer than ever to finding life or even another civilization on a distant planet. That said, to make sure you don't miss out on any new discoveries from the James Webb Space Telescope or any other amazing discoveries about the universe, make sure to stay tuned here. Thanks for watching.